I'm just gonna go over really quick what I'm gonna be doing for the install. If you are not familiar, I actually have a video showing you how to do just the air cabin filter. But today I'm gonna do even more for you guys. So in addition to just changing out the filters, we're also gonna clean the evaporator. Um, and this is just something that I got. Um, it's There's a lot of different products, but this one uh, I'm gonna use. And, and what you need to do is there's a panel here. This needs to come off with the Tesla charcoal filter. It's flexible enough. I didn't ha did not have to replace this panel underneath the glove box, but this carbon filter uh, is a little bit stiffer. So I'm gonna, I may have to take that off too. But the first step is we're gonna take this panel off. Now, I have done this once before. And so the clips that hold this on, there's a lot of them. There's probably, you know, uh, 20 or so that are um, holding this on throughout. So I'm gonna take out this mat and then take this panel off. Hopefully I can do it with this tool. If not, I have some others, but I'm going to do that and show you how to do it in higher speed motion next. All right, that is how you get the panel off. And I wanna show you, there are a lot. You can see there are a lot of clips on this panel. So if you haven't done it, uh, if you're doing it for the first time, don't be discouraged. It's gonna take a while, it's gonna take some force. So next step is I'm gonna do a close up. You need to take that cover off. I don't know if you can see it, but um, we have to take that screw and that cover off and the carbon or the filters are behind there. Okay, I put a blue tape on that light to see if I could help just pinpoint where these clips are. So um, this is the first clip over here. I hope you can see this where I'm taking it off. Um, it's right in this corner. Now, I actually got this tool that has like these little teeth on it um, and that will definitely make it easier to take this type of clip off. Uh, it's the first time again, I haven't pulled this panel out, so it's gonna take a little bit of force. And there's the first one. This is what they look like. Okay, so here we go. So you can see this just comes just come down pretty easy. Looks like it's just caught a little bit over on this side. There we go. So, okay, so I'm gonna take this screw off and make sure it doesn't drop down, kind of put it on the rug. And then this comes out, this piece here comes out. There's like a little latch on the top and you can see it right here right here, this little uh, part on the top. So when you put it back in, that's gonna sort of clip in and then this hole will line up. So you can see that's the filter right there and there's actually two of them. There's one underneath and this is the tab for the one in the bottom. You, you pull the one on the top out first and then you pull this up and then out. So let me show you how to do that right now. The thing I do want to point out is the airflow direction. This is important when you reinstall. See that arrow, how it points into the vehicle? You need to make sure that that's the way you put them in. So I'll take this other one out. Okay. Now, the next thing that is optional, but it would be good to do, this is inside that hole, the filter hole. And you can see that like silvery uh, type of material. And that's what you want to do. What you want to do is you want to coat that stuff 
with that spray that I showed you earlier, the cool it stuff. Um, and then you're gonna run the AC for like 15 or 20 minutes and the car is gonna pee a lot of water out, which is getting rid of all that um, evaporative uh, foam cleaner. So the Cool It Evaporator Kit says to shake the can, then you are gonna put this um, top on here. I'm gonna do that first, so I'll put this in here. And again, you wanna try to, I'm gonna try to shoot it as much as I can on that, um, on the uh, coils that I showed you before. So I'm just, going oh it's good pressure so i'm just sort of spraying up and down and all around okay that seems good it's got most of the cavity there filled you can see the foam coming out so that's good so after the foam in there has sat for 15 minutes or so the thing to do is actually put the cover back on before you run the AC. So um, there's no filters in there. You just put this cover on and that way it forces the air to go in to that compartment. So you just, I'm just gonna latch the top part on and then put the, uh, the screw in. So I believe it goes like this. So I just gotta get the top part latched on. There we go. And I decided to get a real screwdriver. It's a hex driver, so I can put it on. I'm not gonna tighten it super tight. I just wanna get it started. Um, and then I'm gonna run the AC for just a few minutes, five minutes, it says. So you guys can probably hear I have the AC on and you can see that um, it's sort of dripping down. So all that foam liquid is gonna drip down. It says I have to run it for about five minutes, so I'll do that. Okay, so the car, I ran the AC for five minutes, and now we are going to put back the filters. So again, you wanna make sure that the airflow goes in that direction. Um, as it goes in and then it slides down. So I'm just gonna make sure this little grabby guy right here, you see him uh, right here? So that, make sure it sort of sticks out. I'll make sure it's down before I put the next one in. All right, so these guys are in and there's the uh, handle there and the one up top. So now I'm just gonna put the cover on. So I just showed you how to do that when we close the evaporator. Um, take the screw out, just get the top latch in there. Um, no, it goes this way. Yeah, it goes with the corrugated part out. And there's a little tab up there, okay. And just got to put this back in. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to tighten that, and then we'll put the other panels on. 